consequences of this development have also been predicted by the critics for many decades and can no longer be ignored. Bees and other insects disappear. Birds avoid certain areas and are disoriented in other locations. Humans suffer from functional disorders and diseases. And those that are hereditary are passed on to the next generation as existing defects. Despite overwhelming evidence of biological harm from this type of electromagnetic radiation, the utility industry has assumed the safety of smart meters without doing any testing. For the past 29 years, Dr. Di Kun Lee has conducted original research and epidemiology for Kaiser Permanente in Oakland, California. I'm not aware of any uh, safety studies has been done to examine the safety of a smart meter. To me, a manufacturer wants to give a product to consumer, especially in this case to everybody, imposed on everybody. They are the ones who should carry the burden to prove it is safe safe before they can give to other people. It's not up to consumer to 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 demonstrate they are unsafe. It's a, it's a technology done by private companies, these electric companies, private companies that have the right to install this on your house destroy your health, and there's no accountability at all. While industry has failed to do any peer-reviewed studies on smart meters and health effects, a growing body of independent research is now starting to accumulate. It is our experience as physicians that everybody is equally electrosensitive. You install this thing, measurably certain things in your health go down. You know, we, we're tracking now certain sensitive parameters of it. One is an inflammatory marker called TGF beta 1 goes way, way up as soon as the smart meter is installed. Uh, the MMP9, that's the metalloproteinases, go way, way up. These are inflammatory markers. The copper level in the serum goes up as a sign of chronic inflammation driven by something that's suddenly there. Um, the hormones go way off. The neurotransmitters go way off. So we have lab tests that we can show. Here's a patient, we monitor him for 10 years before, he was completely normal. The smart meter was installed six months later, the patient looks like a dying patient from the lab work. And we find those changes even in people that say, well, my wife is sick since the smart meter's in there, but I'm totally healthy. But we look at the lab work, it looks just as bad. Yeah, so some people have an awareness of health and goodness in them, and other people don't. But from what our experience is that everybody is affected by it. It's not just a few, 3% of electrosensitive people. Did you, did you hear about people coming to you as far as, uh, as, far as having complaints about uh, illness? We were made aware of health complaints following installation of smart meters, and we wanted to verify this uh, using our field work. So I measured the field of about 30 different people while they stood one foot in front of the smart meter. And in every single case, the uh, human energy field was obliterated as they stood in front of the smart meter. We wanted to then uh, verify this at the physical level using dark field microscopy. And then we also did a control group to find out if the old analog meters had the same effect on the blood as the smart meter. So in our first slides what we see is normal cells and the structure of the cells is intact and sound. This is what we would expect from a normal sample. With the subject standing one foot in front of the analog meter, there were no significant changes to these blood samples in any of the three that we tested. In our second set of tests, we're using the smart meter. Before the exposure, we see the same thing as we saw in the first samples. Normal cell walls, fairly separated and looking healthy. So after two minutes of exposure in front of the smart meter at about one foot away, we see a totally different story. Sample one, you can see a lot of degradation in the cells. The cell walls have been broken, and you see changes in the cells, which are called mycoplasma. It shows a mutation to the cell. 
In the second sample, we see a different type of degradation to the cell membranes. You can see a corrugation here. This is called bottle cap formation, and it's known that this occurs due to oxidation or uh, exposure to free radicals. So this third subject, uh, when we did her sample, she had to be pulled away from the meter after 45 seconds because she complained about an increasingly severe headache. And here you see a phenomenon called Rouleau, where the red blood cells are stacking up, which makes it very difficult for the blood to deliver oxygen to the tissues as they would be their normal function. Every single one of these is a degradation. Every single one of these shows a trauma to the blood cells and that came from something and the only variable was the smart meter. The good news in all this is the patient and the blood can return to normal once they have been removed from the influences of these stressors. So this thing about electrosensitive, three or five percent of people are, are affected and everyone else is okay, I mean, what, what do you have to say about that? Well, everybody we've tested so far has been affected. And we know everybody that I tested to see if there was a change in the body's energy field, every single person I tested was affected. So three out of three people were affected negatively. Uh, one of them became symptomatic. The other two didn't have any noticeable symptoms, yet the changes showed up in the blood. Uh, there are changes whether they feel them or not. Maybe they're not out there complaining about it or trying to make other people aware of what it's doing to them, yet they're still being affected by it.